Here. Hello, FM Television. How are you? My day was good. It was the first day of classes. I'm back, and I am either subbing for Dominic or Trevor. I don't know who. But whatever. Okay. So this week's topic is unicorns. You know, this week's topic is unicorns. And most people think that unicorns is a ridiculous topic, but I have actually some interesting theories about unicorns. But I'm under a tree because my mama got home. So yeah. Anyway, so the way I view unicorns is yes, of course, they're mythical creatures created by human beings and they're a horse with a dildo stuck to their forehead. And it's pretty much as much as it can get. But I still like to think that there could, in some other universe, be a unicorn. Because, honestly, they're a fucking horse with a horn. That I don't think that would be that hard to evolve. I mean, there are plenty of... There are plenty of animals with a horn on their damn head. So why can't of a horse grown a horn on their head? Hmm? Hmm? Some horse could have just had a stump on their head and some because all evolution is. It's not survival of the fittest. It's not survival of anything. It's who passes down their genes. And I mean, you don't gotta be big and strong to pass down your genes. You just gotta be sneaky and fuck someone before their husband fucks them. Or something like that. I mean, so, I think that just something that had a stump on its head, it, it's possible that, I don't know, it helped them give the horse orgasms better or something. And it just, it got, grew and grew and grew and grew until they were able to kill things with it. I mean, honestly, it makes sense. Because horses are strong in the first place. Don't you think that a, one with a horn on its head would fight the other ones better, though? Because you can just stab people with it. You can stab their eye out. You could probably, like, bruise a leg so you would win a fight. And take their woman or something. So, I think that there is a very good evolutional reason for unicorns. And I think that they could happen, and I don't think that they're nonsense. So yeah. Anyway, I'm getting bitten. I like unicorns. Though, they're not my favorite. I don't really have a favorite animal. I mean, I like animals, because I just like things. But I don't, like, unicorns aren't my favorite. I just don't like, you know what I like? I like snakes. Snakes are cool. But it... Oh. And one reason why I like unicorns is that because they are mythical. They could be mythical. They probably are. But because they're mythical, it means you can make up anything about them. See, I think that you mythical creatures are good because then ah, you can make up rules. To me, I think that unicorns have clear blood. Why? Because they're, they have all red, white blood cells. Why do you ask they all have white blood cells? Because unicorns are awesome. And they don't need red blood cells. They just have white blood cells that fight off all the nastiness. And because they're magical. So, they don't need red blood cells. They only need white blood cells. Yeah. Anyways. And I was going to draw a picture of a unicorn, but I didn't really, I tried to draw several of them, but they all kind of sucked. So, yeah. And I actually, and I was going to draw one on my computer because I have a computer, one of those old school touch computers where you have to use a pen to touch it. I have an old school one, it's like several years old, 
Um, I got it for really cheap, and I was going to draw one on that, but I'm out of battery. So, yeah. Can't really do much for ya. I don't know. I just think that unicorns are a fun thing. And I think that it's kind of stupid when people won't let you, you know, like something or be fascinated by something just because it's mythical. Because it's like, okay, well, I, I, I don't understand because, like, these people are exercising their imaginations. I mean, that is a really good thing. Imagination is really important to advance in society. I mean, the best people that have, I mean, Steve Jobs, like, everybody that has invented something and has a ton of money is really creative because they made shit that no one else had made before. So, imagination is good. Though, the one thing, one thing is, is I think people should start obsessing with other animals. Why does it have to be a unicorn? Why can't you obsess about, like, a magical sea star that is awesome? See, my rule that... See me? I think. Why does it have to be a unicorn? Why can't you obsess about, like, a magical sea star that is awesome? I mean, like, why can't you obsess about, like, why can't you obsess about, like, some magical, awesome... Like, why can't you, ima like, obsess about, like, some magical, awesome sea star that has, like, four arms and... Like, it's awesome because it can give five hand jobs at one time, and if you cut one of the arms off, the arm grows another body, and then ten people can get hand jobs rather than just five. I mean, why not that? Hmm? Though I suppose that's kind of like the octopus thing. This nasty bug, I don't know what it was. But it was freaked out by Annie, and it just squirted something at her. And now she's, like, searching for it again, because she liked being squirted and, like, rolling in the grass. What the fuck? So, anyways, I think that ends my video. Because I have nothing else to talk about. Ah, whatever. So... Anyways, tell us, so anyways, tell us if you guys liked this topic. Do you like it when we stay on topics, like, or do you like it when we go, like, kind of on silly topics and do shit like that, or do you prefer us to stay on topics like trans stuff, or just topics like, the, you know, just stuff like child abuse and, um, opinion things, or do you like us going on to silly things? Leave a comment down below in the crotch. Yep, stole it from Shane Dawson. Stole it from Shane Dawson. Love ya. But anyway. Anyways. Anyway. Look at all the people. So this is a week's topic. Okay. Well, now that that crisis is over, ooh, 